What's going on gamers? This is Jimmy Bailey bringing you today's episode of Morning Mission. Today we're playing some Witcher 3 uh, Wild Hunt, but this is the new Blood and Wine DLC. I posted a video a couple days ago of this DLC and um, it was super super dark. So I realized that if it's a night scene or indoors, can't really <laughs> can't really record that in this game just because it is so dark. It's not dark when I play it, but yeah. So the video, pretty dark. So this time we're going to play during the day. Uh, we're just gonna play some some random side stuff right now. I'm I'm exploring and finding stuff on the map. You know, uncovering all the new uh, the new stuff in this new area. I do gotta say this this DLC. I've been doing all the random um, side stuff. I haven't really even touched most of the the new uh, storyline and. I have tons left to do on side quests, so they packed a ton of new stuff into this. Ooh, damn. And the new enemy types are cool, so a lot of the enemies are are similar to what we saw in the main game. Um, like these. These are like the dogs, obviously, but they kind of make them like, like uh, demon dogs, kind of, or whatever. Wow, I am sucking. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, so if you've never played Witcher 3, um, you need to. If you're into any kind of action RPG, this game is definitely the right one. Um, and this game's great for a gamer on a budget because right now you can find it for like 40 bucks, right? But. Not even with the DLC, with just the base game. Uh, if you just do just the campaign, literally just the campaign is going to take you 50, 60 hours. But if you do all the side missions and stuff like I did, it's going to take you closer to 150 hours. Which, you know, is great for somebody that wants to buy one game and play it a long time. Um, this game is perfect. And there's no multiplayer, so... You know, you don't need you don't need to be online. Um, a lot of you guys are younger, and you know, you go to your grandparents or whatever for the summer during the day. Um, you know, you can bring your PS4 or your Xbox and just literally play Witcher without internet and have hundreds of hours. I put 150 into the main campaign, then uh, about 30 into the first DLC, and now this one I've already got 20 hours in, and I've yet to I've done two missions for the main campaign. That's it. All right, let's pick some side stuff to do. Let's do a Witcher contract. Um, and let's find. I like to find all these question marks on the map. That way, first, I mean, you can you can quick travel, fast travel if you need to later on, and it helps you find a whole bunch of stuff like crafting um, items and stuff you need to make Witcher ar armor. They added a ton new ton of new Witcher gear too. There's at least five new sets, I think. Oh, nice. I think they saw me. I mean, sometimes, like, that first battle with the dogs, I was literally just button mashing. <laughs> um, but you can, like, I just did take your time and, and counter and dodge and, and do a little dance, which is, it makes you feel good. And there's a ton of new uh, treasure hunts like this. Let's go do this treasure hunt. It's beautiful, huh? Look at how gorgeous that is. Now that I got myself a new drone, I got a DJI Phantom. Like, uh, yesterday I was driving to some training for work. And not only that, even in a video game. Like, I'll see something and I'll be like, Huh, that would be a cool drone shot. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. It's like a ravine right in here. That's cool. What the heck? Alright, I need to get air. Come on, go get air. Stop getting caught on rocks. Jesus, go get air before we die. We need to find that casket with the sunken wreck. Okay. There's the wreck. It's gonna be in this obviously yellow circle. It's gotta be in that ravine, right? When I when it gets blurry like that, that's because I'm doing that Witcher sense. It should pop up red. Or maybe it's in this back area. Yeah, all right. Let's get some air, and we'll go down there. Point blank, son. I don't usually do these treasure hunts because of this. It takes forever, and I hate the swimming. I suck at it. I wonder if I'm the only one that has trouble with it, or if it's literally just not good swimming mechanics. Oh my god, see? I wish he would sink faster too. There it is. Finally. <laughs> All right, and let's go find another area. All right, let's go right here because we're already in the water. In this game, like, so all these side stuff I'm doing, like, I'm a, I'm a guy that when I play a game, if it's story, like the con, like a story mission or something. I literally have to hear everything. I have to hear all the story details, like, so when there's a cutscene, I can't have anything else playing, or I can't be really in a party chat. So if I am playing a game like this and I'm in a party chat, either I, you know, tell everybody, give me a second, and I listen to the cutscene, and then I continue to play. But usually what I do is, you know, if I'm if I want to be in a party chat while I'm playing this game or anything else. I'll, uh, I won't do anything story-wise. I'll do all the, the side stuff like this. You know, I'll go explore and find a bunch of Witcher gear and get all my side quests and stuff done. That way, when I am alone, I can do the, the main campaign and pay attention. There's a lot more of these, I've noticed. A lot more journals and, and books that you find that give you story or, you know, missions. So, like, there. We just picked up another quest. I was hoping there'd be a, a marker here. That way we could travel. Because fast travel is a lifesaver in this game. See, like, right there, I'm telling him to dive. Come on! Oh, my God. 
Here we go, more air and come at it from an angle. <laughs> Really? Shouldn't be that hard to dive into a hole. Uh oh, we might die here. Uh oh. Before we pick up that treasure, let's go. Hopefully there's air. Oh, come on, there's air right there. Dude, oh my god, it's not air. I'm like in the... Oh no, I'm in a glitch. Oh no, we're dead. Oh, we are dead. Oh no! God darn it. There is a potion you could drink. I didn't know how. Like, I thought it'd be a normal cave entrance where you can get air. <laughs> so, normally you can take a potion that, you know, makes it so you can breathe a lot better underwater. You know, you have a lot longer time. But I didn't think I'd need it. <laughs> and this is the only downside of this game. So, you can deal with the crappy swimming mechanics or whatever. But this load time is ridiculous I mean it, it's really it's it's a great incentive not to die that way you don't have to deal with the load screens but all right we're almost there let's go Yeah, I'm thinking about get, getting Dead Island, uh, the Riptide, and the, whatever, the, the, um, remastered. I've never played it, so obviously that'd give me an incentive right there to play it, but, and it's cheap. You get two games for 40 bucks, but the reason I'm putting it off, like I'm questioning it, is because I've, oh wow, it's way over here is because I have this game. Um, I have this DLC, and this DLC is going to take me a long time. And all of my friends that I would play, um, that I would play Dead Island with, are going to be done with it by the time I, I even start it. In most games, I like to play on my own anyways. But, um... Like, that's definitely a game you might want to do co-op. Alright. So, it's 900 away. Let's see if we can find a quick fast travel point. Alright, there's one right here. Right behind us. There's another thing. So, I like being able to whistle and call your horse. <laughs> oh, and I got new armor for him. You can kind of see. What the hell? I'm not doing that. Oh, I'm not doing that. I think it's because he's trying to get on the horse. <laughs> that was weird. Come on, Roach. Oh, we were going to a trick, quick, quick travel point. Something's not right. Something's not right. Oh, cave. See, this is me. I get distracted. And I never get uh, my quest done that I've been trying to do. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to see in there. Alright, we'll do that later. <laughs> that was my problem yesterday. I, I, I was in a cave and nobody could see what I was doing on the YouTube video. A lot of times, I end up having to take uh, a potion called Cat in this game. Or light a torch just because it is so dark.
like in a cave I mean it's dark in a cave and in the main like outside obviously it's gorgeous and bright I mean, you can just see enough in a cave to like get through it by your you know while you're playing but I think they did it just a little bit too dark But I gotta say, this is, out of all my games on PS4, actually, out of all my games in my entire gaming career, <laughs> career, <laughs> is, um, my favorites are Last of Us, Uncharted, and probably Witcher, right after that. And, like, I wasn't a huge Witcher 2 fan. Like, I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. But it wasn't, like, totally my type of game but then this came out and I played it on you know I, I got a day one for Xbox one with a friend um, we game share and he had bought it and I, I loved it I was like holy crap this game is sick so I p put a ton of time in like 30 40 hours and I was like you know what I, I definitely prefer PS4 um, so I went ahead and bought it on PS4 and then that I continued to make that my 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 campaign my my save file that was like my go-to save file so I, I beat it on PS4 loved it I did every single side mission you could do I think I have like one treasure hunt wow what is up with the glitches today and then um, and then so like two months later I took a break played a bunch of stuff and I was bored so I started playing it on Xbox again and beat it beat every single thing I could on that and um, then the DLC, and I've done the DLC with all, both consoles, and it's like, oh, almost fell. It is very rare to find a game that you enjoy that that much that you you know it can be your go-to game that you play often. And we've been blessed. I mean, literally in, in a two-year span, two or three-year span, we had. Last of Us, and then un um, Witcher, and then on top of that, I mean, not to name a, a bunch of other cool games, like 2014, 2015 were amazing, like, like you could, I'm, I'm trying to think of some games that other people love, like, I like, like, Phantom Pain and a bunch of other stuff, but, um, you know, they're great games that people, like, love. And I can't remember a time in gaming where we've gotten that many games in, in a small period of time that became like like marvels. <laughs> is that is that where we're going? I don't think so. No. Yeah. Oh, the birds sound cool. While well, he's sleeping. Already a week has passed since my eyes last behold my first visage. My love. I know how important the night. Whatever. Oh my god, the glitches today. It's only because I'm recording, because normally this game doesn't, I mean, at least for me, hasn't had many glitches. But of course I'm recording. <clears throat> Get me off to death, okay. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak. Name's Geralt. No crest, no motto, no plumed helmet even. I'm a witcher. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. Hey, that's my, uh, so you've been gone a my while. stepmother's dog's name, Francois. Worry. I, well, indeed, for, for, Gratore is a most fearsome beast. I must... Hmm. By napping outside the. I have hmm. tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My... Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? Mm. I. Uh... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No. Mm. All in all. Uh... Alright, let's kill this beast. They talk, like, really slow. I don't know why. Yeah, the birds chirping in this are gorgeous. Like, they sound awesome. But they're pretty loud, and they get kind of annoying. <laughs> I 
Oh, we're going in a cave. Alright, guys. Well, good luck. <laughs> good luck seeing. Um, I'm going to take some cat now. That way we can hopefully see better. So in the daylight, it, it doesn't help. It makes it harder to but see. But in the cave, it makes it all black and white, like our cat. Kill it first. Francois, I'm going to need you to slow down, because you can't die. Mm, let's, see, let's see if it'll let me save here. There we go. I really don't want to have to reload far away. Perhaps we should turn back. If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around with children's shoes. Can I ever see a collection this grotesque? That tree's like alive. So what I'm doing now is my Witcher sense. It's kind of like the the detective mode in Batman or something like that. It allows you to see things with his Witcher senses that a normal human can't see. It's just a way of showing you what's important and what's not. Those are huge plants. I don't know how we're gonna get through that tree. Hmm. He said neither sword, sword nor sign. Fine. Hmm. All right, let's go up. Okay, that's an exit. God damn it. So there's two entrances. I don't know what to do. I can't swim. Oh, here we go. Oh. And look at Aww, that's sad. That's sad. So I gotta read something about a beast called Grotor or something? Oh, that's gotta be right here. Huh. Alright, so the bomb, relic oil, and in fire. So if you're not sure how if you're having trouble with a beast or you're not sure how, how strong they're gonna be, you can put oils on your On your swords. All right, let's fight this thing, huh? Alright guys, you might have trouble seeing. Hopefully the fire will light it up nice. Did 
Dude, Francois, just stay out of the way, please. Oh. Oh, damn it. Get out of there. Damn it, we're almost dead. Come on. Got him. Oh, damn it, the flower's still left. Alright, phew. Almost died there a couple times. By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You ate at me greatly. High time you returned to Beauclair, uh, brave knight. Brave knight. Hey, hmm. hey, the head of this beast is a... The world awaits. Uh, to... Take my advice. I beg your pardon. That I wish to make my beloved slip. Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, huh. swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters, which is work. You Damn pissed them off, man. And thankless work. You don't piss gear at all. You're just not cut out for. Find some other way to prove your valor. You do not mince words, master. In Tucson, one might get. There is truth in what you say. I cannot deny. Yeah, go home. We know you're going to die eventually, though, because you're an idiot. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's where we're going to leave it off today. I uh, hope you guys had fun watching today's morning mission. If you guys would like to see more of the, the Witcher 3 DLC, let me know. Um, if, if you'd like to see some more Uncharted 3 multiplayer, give me a thumbs up or, or say that in the comments down below, because I do... I do play that every night, so if, if that's something you're interested in playing, I will start recording it. Alright guys, have a great day, and remember, keep on playing. Peace.